everybody. It's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch used canvas. I'm going to be doing a cloud over pour today. My inspiration comes from Sarah Taylor. So if you get a chance, please uh, check out Sarah's channel. She does a lot of these cloud over pours and they're just beautiful. And I will be putting down a base coat of, um, and this is all from her recipes. My base coat will be Blick White and uh, also some Satin Enamel 50-50. And today I mixed all my paints with Floetrol and look in the description for um, all the recipes. Let's just go over the paints. My first paint I'm using is the Amsterdam Gold Yellow. And the next paint is Folk Art Treasure Gold, their Majestic Gold. My next paint is Master's Touch Brown Red. I really like this color. It's a very deep, deep color. My next color is Arteza Iridescent Acrylic Colors, and this is the Shocking Lime Green. My next color is Amsterdam Burnt Umber. And my next paint is called Mysterious. It's a homemade um, it's actually a combination of four different paints and I got the recipe from Gail Bur Burston, Life in Splatters, so you can check her channel out and I will show you that color. It's very, very pretty. It used to be like the old, uh, I think it was called Color Mines Mysterious, but they stopped making it. And, <coughs> excuse me, my last color is a combination of Amsterdam, Payne's Gray, and Prussian blue it turns out to be a very very dark color also I have cloud over colors that I'm using and the first one is the master's touch light purple the next one is master's touch emerald green and the last one is modern masters it's uh, their metallic line, and it is called Smoke. Very pretty color. I did add quite a bit of water to my paints today, and I will show you consistency here. It just runs right back into the cup. Just like water. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put down my base coat of my white, bring you back, and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my uh, Blick White and the Satin Enamel uh, down, and now I'm going to just start laying my paints. And again, the uh, consistency is really, really thin here. Um, inspiration from Sarah Taylor. And this color is that mysterious that I made up with four different paints. This is the burnt umber. I'm going to add a little bit of the gold here. This 
bright green. orangey yellow the gold yellow I'm sorry that was the name of it it was gold yellow now this red color it almost looks copper Okay, and now I'm going to do some tipping. And hopefully you'll get to see most of this. Very, very beautiful in there. <clears throat> Tip on this side a little here. liking this beautiful just trying to spread the paint out a little bit I think I'm going to take a look at it now and I hope I have you in camera and I'm going to give it a quick torch here I'm going to do is be, I'm going to be playing with my palette knives a little bit and adding some stripes with some composition here. Just drawing some lines out. I'm going to take this really dark color first that I have. And I may fast forward this part of the video just so you don't have to watch it all in real time.
Okay, everybody, I'm going to continue playing with this and adding my cloud over colors. As you can see, I'm adding right now, I'm adding this one, and then I did add the purple and the gray color. So I'm going to continue doing that, and I'll bring you back when I'm finished for a close-up. Okay, everybody, I'm going to get you down for a close-up now. I've uh, put a lot of work into this painting um, off camera, and this is the uh, upper left-hand corner, and I will show you some of the spots I really like in here this is this so pretty it reminds me of wheat and again this is a cloud over pour you can see where i added some of that purple in there very shiny and beautiful these colors just go so well together here's a nice area Here's the lower left-hand corner. I just kept working with it until I was happy with uh, all the results, all the effects I got. And here it's very pretty. Very colorful up in here. I like it because it has some busy areas, yet it does have some more plain areas. It's a good balance. And I will be showing this painting, uh, the dried results in a future video. And I really liked how that orange just really popped in this painting. I think it really uh, added quite a bit to it. I kept adding more and more orange to it. Here's the lower right hand corner. Just going up the right hand side now. Again, this is just, I, my eye keeps getting drawn back to this area. It's so pretty. And here is the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would help my channel grow and I would really appreciate that. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.